What is up fellow developers, my name is Tyler Potts and today we are going to be making an image zoomer like Amazon sort of product image zoomer so when you go onto a product you can zoom in and check it out see what the product looks like up close because obviously sometimes a thumbnail or an image isn't close enough so as you can see here we have this lovely product it's um, a concept car for an Alfa Romeo and we I, I like it but I can't see all the details so I'm gonna hover in and as you can see now you can see it a lot closer up and as I move my mouth 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 my mouse along you can see I can now see more and closer up of the areas I want to and this is what we're going to build in today. It's going to use CSS, JavaScript, and obviously HTML. So, without further ado, let's get started. We are okay, guys, I've created a new code pen. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so it might be a bit close. And to start with, we're going to create two elements in our code pen. We're going to have an actually, no, first thing you should do is always image zoomer product image sumo there you go always name your things first so we're going to say image hyphen wrap because we want to wrap this up and then we're going to say image the reason we want to wrap this instead of just using a straight up image is because i'm using padding top with the width of a, or the padding top trick to make it 60 by die the um ratio and i want the the image ratio and the reason for that is so it always keeps 60 by 9 and it won't work if I don't have this wrapped with something that confines its width, else it'll just stretch all the way out and it'll break. So let's carry on. So we've got that, that is all the HTML we need because obviously, obviously normally you'll need your body and that, but inside your body tag, there's all you would need. We could then head over to our CSS and we can start off by saying margin, you guessed it, zero padding. Again, you guessed it, zero. <laughs> box sizing of border box now these items here obviously just resetting some margin and padding and making sure the, the box sizing is border box because i can't live without border box now um, we don't actually have to do anything on the body but we're going to say image hyphen wrap and we're going to say max width it's going to be 640 pixels but with the margin of zero or 50 pixels to bring it from the top and auto we're then going to say dot image, and now this is uh, obviously the important part. So we're going to give it a width of 100% to make it full width of its um, parent. We're then going to say padding top. So this is how we're going to this is how we're going to create the height for the image because obviously we're using an image background image for this. Uh, but we've got this calc, so we're going to say 100% divided by 16 divided by 9. Um, and that's going to get us basically um, what is 640 if it goes full width divided um, in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio for the height. So if we were to say 640, oh, 540, 640 divided by, and then we do a calculation saying 16 divided by 9, we're going to get 360. So that is the height we should get when it's at full width. So if we go here and then we say background image and then we're going to say url and i have the url here for the lovely alfa romeo car it's actually from the top gear website there we go and we're going to say background size is going to be equal to 100 percent and finally the oh there you go bit here and we're going to say background position it's going to be center and then background repeat is going to be equal to no repeat Uh, because we don't want it to repeat itself. We then want to, well, we don't want to set an and huffer effect. So we're going to use the and huffer to control our zooming ratio. And we're going to say background size is equal to, and I'm going to say 175% here. So I'm going to hit save. And now if we zoom in, it zooms right into the image. The issue is we can't move around and that's where JavaScript is going to come in. So we've built the framework, cool little zooming, but obviously it doesn't zoom to where you want it to zoom into. So let's open up the JavaScript panel here. I'm actually going to bring this in. So as this is 640, I also want to just demonstrate if I bring this out slightly. This should be 360 pixels, as you can see. So that means my ratio is working. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's go to JavaScript. And in JavaScript, we're going to get the image. So let's shrink this down. Let's say const image is equal to we'll say const image is equal to 
document dot query selector so we go use query selector which we're going to use to get the image element so we're just passing through the image class like you would in css to get it to reference it and then we're going to say image dot add event listener and we're going to say mouse move so because we want to listen to when we're hovering over the image we want to listen for the mouse move event and we actually want to listen to the event we want to pass through the event i'm going to call it e um, and then inside this function, we want to get the width of the image. So we're going to say image dot offset width to get the width. We're going to say let height equal image dot offset height. We're going to say let mouse x equal. So now this is where the event comes in. So the event passes through our event handler, and we're going to say e dot offset x. And then we're going to copy this, paste it underneath, and change this to Y so we get the mouse Y position too. So we've got all the positions. We can actually console log these. So if we say console.log, we're going to say mouse or mouse Y plus semicolon plus mouse X. Now, if we open up the console and we clear what's in there because default stuff. And now when we move around, you can see it tells us what position we're at on the actual screen. So at the top left, it's zero, 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 if I can actually get there. <laughs> I'm never going to get there. Zero, zero, there you go. And at the bottom, it would be 360, or as close to it as you get, actually 360. And on the right, it's equal to 640. So that's, that's cool. That's how we get those positions. So let's close that. And now you can see those positions there. We now need to calculate the width. So we want to say let the background position x equal. And now we're going to say mouse x divided by width. So the max width of this. So where our mouse is, we're going to get a percentage. To get this into a percentage, we're going to say um, times 100. So if we now console.log background pos x plus percentage. And let's reopen up the console clear this and now as you can see when I'm down the left side it's at pretty much zero percent and when I'm at the right side it's at a hundred percent so let's close that and we're going to do the same now with the y position so we say background position y is equal to mouse, oh, mouse y divided by height this time not thingy times a hundred because again this is um, simple the algorithm for getting a percentage is the um, the number you're querying or the, um, how do you pull it? I, I was going to say number divided by the total. So the number you have divided by the total times by 100 is equal to the percentage. Um, and that's how you work out um, percentages. Um, so now we're going to use this to say image dot style dot background position is equal to background pos x plus percent space actually we could do this in template strings so if we do these template strings we could say background pos x percent space background pos y percent hit save now when we hover, you can see it moves with our mouse, which is perfect. It's exactly the behavior we want. But now if we come out, you won't notice it in this view because it, it's 100%. But in normally, you want to reset your background to be back to center in case your view gets skewed or anything. So we're just going to quickly do some basically um, error handling and say event listener mouse leave function. I'm going to say when the mouse leaves, we're going to say image. Well, we're actually just going to copy this. And we're going to set this equal to center because we just want to go back to being what it is in the CSS, which is center. So now we have literally, this is all it takes, just 17 lines of JavaScript and less if you remove the white space. And again, 23 lines of SAS and only three lines of HTML. Again, remove the white space and it's a lot less. So this is the product we have got. So now you've got this nice little product hover 
element and that is how it works. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you learned something new because that is the whole purpose of the channel. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell too to get notified as soon as a new video goes live. This is the second from last video of the 31 days and 31 videos. Um, the, a, it is a challenge me and Florin Pop are doing on our YouTube channels. Go check out Florin Pop. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and uh, peace out.